In the last couple of weeks, news have been circulating that Facebook has now qualified Nigeria and some other African countries to start monetizing their content on the platform. But how true is this? Let's confirm. So what you want to do is to log into your Facebook account, come to your professional dashboard, go to see dashboard and come to monetization. Then let's click on in-stream ads, which is the most popular tool that we are likely to be monetized for in stream ads and let's go to eligibility criteria and yes you can see that you reside in an eligible country has been marked for us initially this was not actually marked so this means that yes indeed facebook has kept their promise and actually made nigeria one of the countries that can now monetize their content on facebook to further confirm this let's click on eligible country Let's scroll further down and let's click on in-stream ads are available in these countries or territories. So you can see that if you scroll further down, you would see that one of the countries is Ghana and then you would also see Nigeria. So this is actually great news because all the while we've actually had issues with monetization and a lot of content creators always have to go through the back door and what were they doing they were going to other countries where there was content monetization qualification to get admins and then um, helping them to get their content or their account monetized and trust me this was really very stressful because i was doing a couple of videos to actually talk about all the ways that one could actually go about this all right then another thing you need to note is that for now it is not all the tools or all the ways you can make money on facebook that are really open to nigerians yet it is just in stream ads that have been open to us and then for bonuses bonuses is invite only meaning that meaning that you can only get an invitation from facebook to actually um monetize as you know monetize through the bonuses then for the stars and ads on reels this one is not yet open to everybody I think that these other tools is not really about the country you live in <clears throat> they are based on some other requirements that are not exactly listed out here because i know people who actually earn from um from stars right even as they are in nigeria so stars means that people are able to send you monetary they are able to send you gifts when you know they actually like your fans can actually send you gifts and all that all right so now that we are we have we have qualified for monetization what is next so one of the things you have to do is to first of all decide whether you want to monetize your facebook profile or a facebook page the main difference between these two is that your facebook profile which you've converted into professional mode and is now having the outlook of a business page you cannot add an admin on your facebook profile so that's one of the main difference so let's say for instance that you have your facebook profile and you have a team and you want them to be able to add content for you you cannot actually add them up as admins except you give them full access through your username and password right you can only do that on a facebook page so when you decide that when you decide which one you want to use you have to also first of all confirm your eligibility right because there are different criteria to be met aside from staying in an eligible country so if you go to your dashboard you're going to be seen and you go to monetization and you go to in-stream ad you're going to be seeing different requirements so different eligibility criteria. so we have eligibility criteria and we have content criteria all right so for me i have met four out of five criteria on this particular professional account all right not a page now so we are going to be checking out a page later on all right so um i reside in an eligible country i am following facebook content monetization policies which is very important for them and then my profile has crossed the 5000 um follower threshold right so currently i have over 6000 followers so for you if all of this haven't yet been marked you now have to start working towards um meeting all of these criteria right so if your profile is not yet up to 5000 um followers you have to start working towards making your profile up to 5000 followers and one of the ways you can do that is by continuously adding content to your page remember that they have to be video content and or although you can actually be adding text-based content once in a while but you have to be adding video content that would you know have the opportunity or have the potential to go viral and when your videos go viral it's going to be attracting followers to you all right so that is one of the ways you can do that and well if you have been if you have have your facebook account for a while you also have crossed this threshold because um 
it's very very easy for professional um for professional accounts that is for your professional form for your main professional account it is very easy to cross this because you probably already have five thousand friends all you just have to do is to convert it to professional mode and when you do that your five thousand friends become five thousand followers so it's very very easy to actually meet this criteria on your profile than it is to meet it on a page right so um once you have crossed this 5,000 friends, I'm sorry, 5,000 follower threshold, the next thing you want to check for is your content criteria. So the content criteria, one of the um, most important parts is that your videos ought to have been watched for 60,000 minutes in the last 60 days. So if you have met, this is like one of the most important in addition to this um, content monetization policies. So once you have met these criteria, you... Um, you know you are good to go and then facebook will now send you a notification to get started with the application process now let us check for the monetization um um criteria on a page right so let's say for instance that i want to use a particular page what i can do is to go to my page all right so i'll just navigate to my menu option and then i'll come to pages and then i'll search for the page that i would like to use for monetization all right so i'll click on the page so let's say this is the page i want to use smart skills of advertising services i'll click on it and then i'll switch into the page so you would see a similarity between your page and your profile so i'll come to um my menu option here for the page and then i'll go to professional data Dashboard. and then you're going to be seeing that i don't actually have all the like i haven't met some of the criteria yet i have only met two out of the five criteria that have been given and then one of the things you can actually do is that you can monetize both your professional um account and your page and how can you do this if you you can be the one focusing on your professional account and then you can give uh, maybe someone in your team access to um, your account that is your page to start adding content and building it and then building it up to the point of monetization that means you can actually win on both ways right you can win on your facebook profile and also on your facebook page so how do you do that you come to page access and then um click on people with um people with facebook access and then add new and then you can go on to add the person up for them to start adding content and building the page to meet the criteria that um facebook requires for the monetization all right so i'll come to monetization and let's check my eligibility on in-stream ads and you're going to be seeing that um out of the five criteria i have only met two and one of them is that i reside in an eligible country i don't have up to five followers yet and then i am not even following facebook's content monetization so this is very important to facebook that you are following their monetization um um policies all right so what you can actually do is to click on this content monetization policy and then read all about it and how you can actually comply with your policies all right one of the things to actually keep in mind is that while you're adding content ensure you're creating original content and that you're not lifting other people's content into your page because that is one of the fastest ways to actually um get under the radar with um facebook's um content monetization policies all right ensure you're adding original content and even when you have to add other people's content i believe there are actually ways to do that all right so i think that in a subsequent tutorial i'm going to be talking about how to create reaction videos for your page So very simple process and all you'll be needing to actually apply are your tin that is your tax identification number your bank details and your bank swift code right so you have to um ask your bank for their swift code or maybe check online or something so i have seen someone who got monetized and the process she followed to fill in details these details and i can guarantee that the process is really very easy so the most important aspects of to the monetization is to getting to the requirements that like meeting all the eligibility criteria all right so what you just want to do is to continue to add content to your page and ensure that you're following facebook's monetization policies do you know that you can actually make money from your content even before facebook starts to monetize you how do you do this if you and you like if you're selling something like if you have a product or service that you're selling you can actually be making mention of that in your videos once in a while so for instance for um people who do affiliate marketers let's me let me even use youtube as an example people who use people who have youtube channels and they are affiliate marketers they have a way of talking about even i also do it on this channel from time to time like i use it to sell my course right or affiliate products so i talk about the affiliate products that is related to the video content i'm talking about 
about and then i talk to people on how they can actually get access to that product or that service all right and then i drop the link in the description and then people go on to check it out and maybe make a purchase that's where i'm actually making money and this you know actually happens more for people who have built um like followership over time so before facebook actually monetizes you you can actually go on to start making money in this way all right so for many youtubers who haven't yet been monetized and they know what they are doing this is actually how they do it even when they get monetized they still do it like that do you understand so that's one of the ways to go about monetization before you eventually qualify but when you eventually get monetized and facebook invites you all you just need to do is to provide your team your bank swift code and your bank details of course there are going to be other details that you'll be asked to fill so just go on to click on get started and then that's that all right thank you very much for watching and if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel i'm on my news please hit on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss out when i post similar videos like this and all we do is talking about how to make money in the online space and also how to use systems and platforms to make your life and your business better all right so thank you very much and i'll see you in subsequent tutorials bye for now